My name is Ashley and this is Faithful Ratchet. So as you can probably tell, I have a bit of a sore voice. I actually lost my voice completely a couple of days ago. It's mostly back now, but it is a little bit sore. Today's video is going to be some of my favourite wrap products, things that make my wrap keeping more enjoyable for me and for my boys. I wouldn't say these are necessarily essential items for everybody and all rats, but they are essential to me and I really like them and for some things I think are essential for everyone, but other things I think are um, just essential to me. I will obviously talk about those specifically as we go through the list. I have 10 things, there are many more things I could put on this list, but I just went for 10 that I really like, that I find really beneficial for me and my boys, and that some of them are also some things that I think are beneficial and essential for everyone. So, I've got my little list. Here we go. So the first thing that I think is essential for rats is a Perspex tray. Now, we all know that most of the suitable sized cages don't have deep enough trays. Um, I'm gonna say all of the suitable sized cages don't have deep enough trays, including this, the little Zubanchora, which will be an exciting video coming soon, all about this cage and the setup and everything like that. But even the best cages on the market don't come with a deep enough tray for substrate, which is essential for rats. They need a deep layer of bedding to be able to dig and to be able to burrow and to be able to behave naturally as rats in the wild would. So that's one of my essential things. And it's something that doesn't come with the game. You have to get the cage and measure for the perspex, but I do think it's very essential. And I think most cages can be improved with a deeper layer of bedding. Even if the cage itself is amazing, deep substrate is really important. And connected to that, the second thing on my list is loose substrate. Now this is absolutely essential for all rat owners. I don't care if your rat has respiratory problems or anything. Rats require loose substrate. Fleece just doesn't cut it for many reasons. They require loose substrate to be able to dig and forage and burrow and do all of their natural behaviours and not feel stunted and bored and stressed out. They need that. But it's also much safer and healthier for them because having a deep layer of substrate means more absorbency. The deeper the layer is, the more absorbent it can be and the less often you have to clean it out, which is good for them because it means that this buildup isn't so often. Whether you go for bioactive or one of the run of the mill loose substrates, whether that be shredded cardboard <coughs> or wood shavings or aspen or hemp, any of those suitable substrates are a necessity. And a good substrate is one of the most important things in a rat cage. So, yeah, that is my second essential thing. Now, my Third essential thing is malt paste. Now, most rat owners will know what malt paste is, but some may not. Malt paste is actually made for ferrets, and as I've heard, it's not particularly good for ferrets, and it's not particularly good for rats. It's basically just sugar in a tube. However, they really, really enjoy it, and it's good for getting them to take medicines when they need to, and to train them, and generally just build a good relationship with them for like bonding and socializing. Malt paste is amazing and having some on hand is always great and I think it's a necessity. For that reason, I have a tube of malt paste automatically delivered to me every month from Amazon Prime because it's a very important thing and it's very useful. Obviously, I'm not giving my boys tubes and tubes of malt paste every week, but having it on hand is a really essential thing as I said, for giving meds, for trick training, um, for socialising and bonding, all things, and it's very helpful and useful and important for them. The fourth thing that I think is essential for everyone, not just essential for me, and this is a hospital cage. Now, you never know when your rats are going to need hospital rest, or need to go to the vet, or need surgery, or just need to be separated from the group for a while for whatever reason, right? You never know when that's going to happen. That could even happen the day you bring home your new rats. 
So it's very important that when you're collecting all the things that you need for rats, that you have a hospital cage set aside. Now, a hospital cage is one of those small, quote unquote, hamster cages, which are not suitable for hamsters, but are, I think, essential for a rat keeper to have, because if they need cage rest for an injury or recovery from surgery or recovery from an illness or a myriad of other things, they're very, very important. And they can also double as a carrier in an emergency situation. They are essential. You need to have one before you get your rats. You need to have, you need to have one, okay? You need to have one. And the fifth thing that I think is essential for rats to have is a water bowl. I think a lot of people prefer bottles because they're easier to keep clean with bowls. You do have to change them out multiple times a day because they get dirt and poo and pee in them. However, if your bottles stop working or run out or anything, bowls are still going to be there. I think bowls are essential because it's a much more natural way for them to drink. They're able to splash around, use the water to clean themselves, have fun, get a drink, and it is a form of enrichment for them. With a bottle, you can't really do that. That's why I have both bottles, as you can see here. Oh, here, there's a bottle. And just up there where you can't see, there is also a bowl. I think they're essential for all rats to have both bottles and bowls, but I think bowls are the most essential thing for them to have a constant access to water because bottles can break, they can jam, they can run out, they can drip all the water out of them. I think bowls are very, very important. The sixth thing that I think is essential for all rat keepers to have is a carrier. Now the size of this will depend on how many number of rats you have, but it's so important for taking your rats to the vets. If you need to emergency leave for any reason, if you need to take them anywhere other than the vets, if you need to bring when you need to bring them home, a carrier is so important for all these situations, especially if you live somewhere where the weather can be catastrophic. It's very important, but it's also important because you never know when a fire could happen or any number of things. It's very, very important to have a carrier before you have your rats. And it's very, very important to have a carrier whilst you have your rats. So important for so many different things. They're also used, um, hospital cages and carriers, they're used during the intro process. So it's very important that you have both of them and varying sizes of both of them. It's super important. Oh, the seventh thing that I think is essential for all rats is a Shunamite style homemade mix or bought mix from somewhere like Rat Rations if you're in the UK and the appropriate supplements to go along with it. I don't think there's a better way to feed your rats than the Shunamite diet. Nuggets, some nuggets may be better and more nutritionally sound and have better quality ingredients than others. There definitely are better ones on the market. But I don't think that it provides all of the enrichment and natural behaviours that a mix provides to your rats. Eating isn't just about nutrition and health. As with people, eating is an entire experience and for animals, the way that they eat and the variety, especially for rats who are natural foragers, variety is super important and so you need to balance the nutritional aspects and the behavioural and other needs that come along with food. And that's why I think the Shunamite diet is the only appropriate way to feed your rats. Now, I do think high quality nuggets can suffice for temporary short term situations, but I don't think they should be a staple long term diet ever for any type of rat at any age. My number eight essential thing is my rat counts. Now these are probably essential for me. I don't think everybody needs them, but I think they provide a lot of peace of mind when you go out or perhaps when you have a pet sitter to come and look after your rats while you're away. Having a camera to check on them whenever you like is very helpful. I just like watching my boys either when I'm not in or when I'm lying in bed at night or when I'm sitting on the sofa opposite the cage and I just want a different angle into the cage to see what they're doing. I really enjoy them. I think they're essential for me. They make my rat keeping experience much better. And I think if you can get one that you should, because they are super fun just to sit and spy on your rats. Yeah, 
get a rack cam. Number nine on my list is a wheel. Now, I don't think this is essential for all rats. I don't think all rats will use them, but I have some very, very active boys and they absolutely love their wheel. When they're awake, there is pretty much always somebody on it and they run like mad. I think if you have the ability to give your rats a wheel, you really should. I don't think it's a necessity um, in that regard. I don't think you'll have a bad setup if you don't have a wheel, but I do think it is very beneficial to them and they will really enjoy it, most of them. Perhaps not older books if they've never seen a wheel in their life, but I think for me, my group, it is very essential and I do think it can be beneficial to all rats. So if you have the opportunity to give it a try, I think you should. Now, the last thing is the most important one on the list, a vet fund. Because you never know when an emergency will happen, when a tail will be degloved, or if you have dose pyometra, or emergency injury surgery, or a rat needs to be neutered, or like what happened to me, you have an outbreak and you have many rats at the vets for a long time and you have to pay for a post-mortem. A vet fund is so important. Do not go into keeping any pet without the necessary means to provide that pet medical care. With rats, insurance doesn't really pay off because of the excess fees and things like that. It doesn't really pay off for rats, but it is so super important to have the ability to pay for those vet visits, whether it's some sort of credit card or a savings fund or family members that can help you out that are willing to always help you out. I think you can run into a bit of trouble if you expect that they will help you out and they can't in that moment. I think having an open communication if that's the situation is really important, but having the vet funds is so important. You never know when an emergency is gonna happen. Most of the time going to the vet for like a respiratory infection or something along those lines won't cost you that much money. It'll probably be around 60, 70, 80 quid for the appointment and the meds and all that stuff. But you never know when something completely like crazy happens. And I don't even say crazy. You never know when something completely unexpected will happen and you'll have to pay a lot more money. So having those funds available to you and if there are a variety of different ways whether it be a savings fund or a credit card specifically for that or family and friends to help you out or whatever the situation is, it's so important. And I can't stress that enough to everybody. Having the funds available for whenever they're needed is so important. So those are my 10 essentials. I hope that this was informative and if you agree or disagree with me or you have any extras that you think are important do leave them down below in the comments please also stick around and subscribe it really helps me out it gives me a nice little hug when I see that I get a new subscriber and it means that you can follow along with all of my videos and keep up to date with me and my boys and all of the information that I am able to give you I also have an Instagram if you want to follow for daily pictures and updates on my boys. Again, it's just the same as here, Faithful Rattos. And yeah, thank you very, very much for sticking around and I'll see you next time. Bye!